event possible and all the work that he's done to make scouting such a great success in our district. Let's give them a hand for what they have done. <laughs> and that applause goes to all of you who contributed and who've helped. I want to welcome some of the guests here, especially all of you are special folks, but I'd like to mention a few in particular. A special welcome to former Secretary of the Army, Howard Bo Calloway, a classmate of mine. He was a distinguished citizen of the Boy Scouts several years ago. He always has been ahead of me in everything that we have done. <laughs> he was honored by the Boy Scouts in 1998. I'm glad that he's doing better, and I know I express the sentiments of everyone here that he is on the road to recovery. There are others tonight that I'd like to mention who they were selected in the past as Boy Scout Distinguished Citizens, but their names have already been read off. I'm going to read them again. Lieutenant General Carmen Cabeza, Representative Calvin Smyre, Jack Pizzo, George Gita, Dr. Frank Brown. Now I apologize if I've omitted anyone. Those were the names that were given to me a couple of weeks ago. A special welcome to Ms. McMaster, Katie, the wife of Major General H.R. McMaster, the commanding general at Fort Benning. We are fortunate to have them as the command team at Fort Benning. General McMaster is the commanding general of the Maneuver Center of Excellence. She is a great Army wife. He is a great combat leader, peacetime trainer, a man of great moral and physical courage. Ms. Mim Hallam, a strong supporter of Columbus State University and of our military. A welcome to a great group of friends from Fort Benning, from Columbus State University, and my long, uh, long lasting friends from Columbus who put up with me for so many years. I'd like to mention our eight Ranger buddies, my eight Ranger buddies that we have here tonight. Two of them, Sergeant First Class Santiago, Sergeant First Class Briggs, won the best Ranger competition a couple of weeks ago. That indicates. By so doing, they prove to the world that they're two of the most militarily proficient and physically fit soldiers in the world. They are great Santiago, Sergeant First Class Santiago, Sergeant First Class Briggs. We also have with them six other Rangers. They're Captain Zarola, Sergeant First Class Costa, Captain Gingrich, Sergeant First Class Keller, Staff Sergeant Perez, Cap Corporal Ely. Please stand, all of you, so we can show you appreciate our appreciation for what you've done for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. These are just a few of the great soldiers we have at Fort Benning and that we have throughout our Army. They're the ones who make it possible for us to be here tonight they make it possible for us to continue to live in a free country. A special welcome to all of you who are here tonight. We thank you for coming. You're supporting the Boy Scouts of America, a great organization. Being selected by the Boy Scouts for the Distinguished Citizen Award is an honor that I never imagined receiving. I would imagine most of my friends are as surprised as I was. <laughs> I'll try to live up live in such a way that I'll be uh, worthy of such an award in the future. We're here tonight not to honor me. We're here tonight to honor the Boy Scouts of America and the, what they have done over the past many years to build character in our young boys and develop them into outstanding leaders of our country. Here's some of the facts that you should know. Scouts outperform non-scouts in every field of endeavor. They have a higher graduation rate from high school. The graduation rate of scouts from high school is 91%. It's less than 70% overall in the state of Georgia. 35% of our scouts graduate from college. Scouts outperform non-scouts in every area of endeavor every area of leadership. 
Scholastically, they lead the way in reading, English, math, science, and social studies. Fewer scouts become delinquent. Fewer scouts drop out of school. Scouts will do better significantly than non-scouts in just about anything that they are involved in. Scouting endeavors to build outstanding young men who have the right set of values and morals. Scouting benefits boys, and those boys go on to benefit this country in which we live. I want to talk about that great beneficial influence that scouting has on our young boys. I draw from my own experience and the impact that scouting had on me. Next to my parents, scouting was the most influential uh, action on me while I was a young man. That influence has affected me all of my life. Only my father and being a U.S. Army Ranger have had greater impacts than the scouts did on me early on. Scouting is one of the two great programs in our country that focuses on developing character in our boys. The Army is the other. Becoming a scout was something that I wanted to be from the first time that I saw a scout. I must have been about nine or 10 years at the time. Scouting were assisting in crowd control during the very busy, bustling pre-Christmas days. The uniform caught my attention. I wanted to be a scout. The service that the scouts provided and the responsibility that went with it, that was helping people cross the street, keeping them safe, impressed me even more than the uniform. During the next two or three years, reading about scouts in the newspaper and magazines continued to whet my desire to become a scout. My dad had an old Boy Scout handbook. I read every page of it, some of it twice. When would I be old enough to become a scout? That day was more important to me than getting a driver's license when I became of age. I liked everything about scouting, the camaraderie, with other boys my age, the camping and hiking, the challenge of learning and mastering skills, the recognition of achieving higher rank. As a scout, I, expect, I experienced my first leadership responsibilities. I became a patrol leader and later the senior patrol leader. With a push from my mother, I earned Eagle Scout rank with Gold Palm. Many years later, I would serve as a scoutmaster of one troop and a couple of years after that, the camping chairman in another. I come from a scouting family. My brother was an Eagle Scout and later a scoutmaster. My wife, Jeannie, was a Girl Scout leader. Our son, Thomas, was an Eagle Scout and our two daughters were Girl Scouts. My dad was on the hometown Boy Scout committee. One of his jobs was raising money you can't imagine, unless you live through those days, how proud he would be when he could report that he'd gotten a $5 or $10 donation from some of the people in town. But you have to put that in the context that this was in the middle of depression, when the going wage for work was 20 cents an hour. So for a 40 hour week, you took in eight bucks as your salary. So a $5, $10 contribution was great money at that time, and the Boy Scouts appreciated. Of all the things about scouting that influenced me, the Boy Scout Oath did the most. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country, to obey the Scout laws, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally weak, and morally straight. Now those words, on my honor, I will do my best, are as clear as anything that I've ever read, anything I've ever heard, anything that I've ever said, that only the best that I could do would be satisfactory and acceptable to me. I was staking my honor on never being satisfied to just get by. To do my duty to God and my country, Repeating the Scout Oath was probably the first time that I realized that I had a duty to contribute something to my country, to give something back to this great land in which we are privileged and fortunate to live. To obey the Scout Law, 
The scout law is a list of character traits to which scouts and all of us should aspire to develop within us. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. To help all people at all times, what better rule can there be? Not only do we help those who are weak or sick or injured or who are unable to help themselves, but we are to be helpful to all people. That makes for a better world. All of us benefit. We vow in the scout oath to keep, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. That covers the gamut of strength. The phrase continues to be very significant to me because it is part of the Ranger Creed. That creed, just like the Boy Scout Oath, tells us what a Ranger should be. There are two other statutes in the Scouts that are important. The first, the Boy Scout motto, be prepared, be prepared. As unpredictable as our world is, what better enjoinder can they be than be prepared? And the Boy Scout slogan, do a good turn daily. When I was in the Scouts, when I was a Scout in the Scout Troop in Tifton, Georgia, we had a meeting like all Scout Troops do once a week. And one of the significant parts of that meeting was us talking about, not bragging, but describing what good deeds, what things we had done during the week to help other people. Helping other people was a requirement it was something that we were obligated to do. Besides the positive influence that scouting had on me as a boy, it continued to have an influence right on into adulthood and after I retired from the Army. I've already mentioned that I became a scout master and a camping committee chairman, but there was something else as important. Scouting brought my son Thomas and me closer together as we worked on the scout requirements. We had great times together on our hikes and campouts, either with the scout troop or just the two of us and maybe a buddy of his. I marveled at the way my son was learning how to take charge, to do the many tasks that must be accomplished in order to have a successful outing. And these experiences would carry over him into his adulthood. When camping, Food is certainly a big thing, at least it was with us, because he asked for the responsibility, he sometimes did the cooking. And one of the most memorable meals that he prepared was when he scrambled jelly beans and eggs together for breakfast. I'll never forget that meal. <laughs> he was so proud of his gourmet, cook, gourmet cooking, and I was proud of how he was growing up into a responsible young boy. He wanted to be here tonight, but at three o'clock this afternoon, he landed in New York City, back from Prague, the Czech Republic. If you want to get closer to your boy, go camping with him. You may not be thrilled by his cooking, but you'll like the way he's maturing. I'll never forget what the scout oath, the scout law, the scout motto, and the scout slogan meant to me and the impact that they continued to have. The most important to me is the Boy Scout Oath. On my honor, I will do my best. Now, I failed to meet that standard on many occasions, but I have never had any doubt as to what was expected. The Boy Scouts is a great organization. It's good because it helps a boy distinguish between what's good and what's bad, when sometimes that's hard to do. The character that scouting develops will be with him for life. It helps him to be a better person. It helps him to be a man. Scouting should be open to all.